What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you how to make a classic, approachable, perfectly portioned short rib for yourself, your family, your kids. And I was about to film this. I was like, hold on, this feels familiar. And I looked up on my YouTube channel and we actually did a barbecue short rib recipe video last year. It was a much larger rib rack. You know, the recipe wasn't precise and classic. So I decided we can do that again today and be a bit more realistic. So let's take a look at the ingredients. As the star of the show, we have some short ribs from Frankie's Free Range Meat. And this is honestly the main reason I'm doing this video. I was really happy with how you know, I was able to package these short ribs, nice portions, one person for your kids, for one family dinner, as opposed to having a whole rack. I think in the next month or two, I'll also do a pork barbecue ribs recipe on the grill, but this is gonna be quick and easy for the oven. Uh, so these are very familiar and classic ingredients in regards to a barbecue sauce. You have the ketchup, you have the vinegar, and then it gets a, a little bit fishy. You know, most recipes will have some cane sugar in it, some honey, but certainly not coconut aminos, colatura fish sauce, mustard, broth. Uh, you do see some lemon juice here and there. You do see some black pepper, but the nutrition, the quality that we're adding is the fish sauce, the mustard, as well as this broth. And if you didn't see our French dip recipe video last week, this is some of that beef jus. So normally in a barbecue sauce, people would add all these spices, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, a bunch of stuff. Since this is basically cooked down onion, mushroom, herbs, aromatics, very beefy and flavorful, we don't have to add that seasoning. And some of you guys might've saw I mentioned the other day, we have two salts now available on Frankie's Free Range Meat and Frankie's Free Range Foods as well. But first, all we're gonna do is season these with salt and pepper, wrap them in parchment paper, and put it in the oven. All right, so I'm just gonna pat the ribs dry on the kitchen towel. So we'll do nice salt, organic cracked black pepper. Pat it in a little bit. And you'll see a lot of dry rubs. I don't really like using dry rubs with beef because if you have a really high quality grass-fed product, you want the flavor of that meat to come through. So when you eat this with the barbecue sauce and just salt and pepper on the meat, you'll taste both. You know, you get that hit of barbecue sauce initially, and then you'll really get the flavor of the meat. But you know, if you dry rub this, season it, overdo it, that's for low quality conventional meat. All right, so I'm not just gonna take these one by one. So we're using parchment paper here. I'm sure there's some type of chemical in there that you don't want in your food, but it's far, far better than aluminum foil. Uh, so we're gonna pop these in the oven at 275. They're gonna take between three and four hours. So on this pan, what I did was I put the ribs in order of largest to smallest, and I'm gonna put the larger ones in the back of the oven as it's gonna be a little bit hotter back there. So this should cook relatively evenly. So I bought the store-bought organic ketchup. You can make your own, and some recipes for barbecue sauce even use just canned tomatoes and tomato paste, so that is an option. Uh, we're gonna use two cups. So now we're gonna add all the other liquids to this. So we have half a cup of our beef jus. We're gonna do a quarter cup of vinegar. I like organic apple cider vinegar, but you know there's a lot of high quality ones available now. You have a tablespoon of coconut aminos, and this is similar to soy sauce. It's basically just fermented coconut tree sap. I like putting this in white rice. Very sweet, very salty. This is our colatura. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep this on Frankie's Syringe Meat. Uh, you can find also red boat fish sauce in a local store. Basically fermented fish juice. Add some depth of flavor. Maybe a teaspoon. I'm gonna do maybe half a teaspoon of mustard just for a little bit of a kick. Uh, this is my favorite brand from France. I'm gonna do one lemon worth of juice. And for our sweeteners, I'm using both sugar and honey. So we're gonna do maybe one or two tablespoons of the cane sugar, depending on how sweet you want this. And then we'll do a tablespoon of honey. You get a little bit of that honey flavor in the barbecue sauce, which is very typical. So all that's left is the seasoning, just pinch of salt, a couple generous cracks of black pepper, and that goes into our ketchup. So there we have it. You definitely wanna let this sit for you know, a couple hours for the flavor to meld. And as the ribs are gonna take about that long, that's perfect. 
overnight, a day or two, gets even better. So ribs have been going a couple hours. Should be all done. We're gonna put the oven on broil. All right, so. So we have our sauce. I'm gonna spoon some over the top. Just spread it around a little bit, flip it over. I'm gonna be a little more generous on this side because this is what we're gonna put in the oven to broil. All right, so this will go back in the oven, three to five minutes on broil. Nice. So we'll let these cool off for 10 minutes and then give them a try. Definitely not my type of dish as Frankie boy doesn't like getting his hands dirty. I don't like eating with my hands, but. So there's a couple things you could do differently here depending on your taste. I would definitely brine them either a dry or wet brine beforehand just to get them a little more moist through that long cooking process. If you have a really picky eater or like a kid, definitely marinate them in the barbecue sauce for a day or two and then put some more afterwards. It won't even taste like beef. But this is a really, really great dish because it's easy to make. All you have to do is season the meat, put it in the oven, mix together the ingredients for the barbecue sauce, you know, no extensive prep time. And when you eat a high quality piece of fatty beef, it's pretty much all the nutrition a growing person needs, an adult person needs, you know, you're only really missing you know, a couple of fermented foods here and there and possibly some omega-3 fatty acids several times a month. But you, know, you could eat this meal day in and day out for weeks and weeks and weeks and still be getting all the nutrition your body needs, macronutrient and micronutrient. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Let me know if you've tried the short ribs on Frankie's Free Range Meat and how you like them. I will be doing a live stream on Frank Tufano uh, around 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so definitely check that out if you guys would like to chat, haven't done it in a while, but please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and maybe I'll let you know how my sister liked these for dinner this week. Mm -hmm.